Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to uh, document uh, this build process that I'm, I'm going to be working on for the next little bit. I'd like to bring you guys along. And uh, basically got a uh, Toyota uh, 1F ZFE, which is a 4.5 liter straight six. And it's not, it's not the most commonly modified engine, but it seems to have all the right bits for what I, I'd like it to do. And we'll eventually build it up to take her to uh, Bonneville. So I'm not sure on the horsepower level just yet, but I'm gonna at least initially shoot for around a thousand, since that seems pretty easy to come by with this engine uh, block. And then we'll go from there. We may push it further, but yeah, I'm, I'm right at the beginning. I just brought the motor in. It's pretty much came straight out of a Lexus LX what, GX 450 or something. And uh, I'm not too familiar with Toyotas. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Land Rover, but I don't really know much about it. Um, so I'm gonna be learning as I go. I've worked on engines and other stuff like that before, and they're basically all the same, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But yeah, this will just be the beginning. I'll probably just do a time lapse of uh, the initial teardown since it's not very exciting. But as we start putting uh, modifying it and putting the performance parts on it, it should be a lot more fun. But so. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I will do a time lapse now, and see you next time.
All right, we're back. So, it wasn't too bad. It only took about an hour, maybe a little over. Um, but mostly, you know, the preliminary tear down. Get an idea of what's going on. Let's see, it's pretty, it's pretty dirty. But I guess that's to be expected. So. Um, yeah, so I do have to say, if I do not recommend tearing down a motor this way. Unless you're doing what I'm doing here. Which I'm not going to really, like, reuse. Well, that's what just came off of it. There's a whole tote full of stuff I'm not going to use. So, pretty much just going to use oil ignition, power steering, the water pump, and the alternator, which I put away. Um, everything else is really stuff I don't need. So, yeah, if you're going to uh, take apart one of these motors and put it back together the way it came, you definitely got to be a lot more cautious than I just was. Um, but I, I knew I wasn't going to use any of that. That stuff all just gets thrown in the corner, basically. Uh, Not too bad. It's going to need all new valve guides and valve seals. Uh, from what I understand, it's something that these engines need anyway. So, yeah, she's dirty right now, but we'll clean it up, give it some paint, and start the fun stuff. Because this stuff right here is just getting down to it. Uh, so it's got a built-in um, uh, motor oil cooler right there. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. Probably will, built in. Um, I know I gotta modify the pan because it's a little, it hangs down a little low from what I want. So I'm gonna try to squeeze this into a little car, most likely. So shrink it up as much as possible, uh, save room for the turbo, and yeah, well, there we have it. So we'll see you next time. We'll do a clean up and yeah, we'll probably pull the head off, pull the off the oil pan and the like uh, front covers here, tear into it a little bit more. That's a good start. Uh, considering this will probably be a pretty long project, um, quite satisfied with it right now. Uh, the motor's not as big as I thought it was, which is also nice. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it for this time. We'll see you uh, in the next one. Okay.